My Hero Academia is a hit anime show about a group of teen metahumans training to be heroes at UA Academy. Now in the show's universe, about 80% of the world's population have superpowers, although they call them quirks. And basically, people are just a bit more evolved than us in this universe. Well, except for the 20% left over, who are still yet to catch up with the rest of them. Including the star of the show, Izuku Midoriya. I think I'm saying that right. I've always struggled with his name. Personally, I prefer to call him by his superhero name, Deku. Now you see, the show starts with him wanting to be a hero, but being unable to, as he is one of the 20% born without a quirk. Identifiable by having two joints in their pinky toes as people who have quirks are a little bit more evolved and only have the one joint in their pinky toes. But even still, he wants to be a hero and he trains for it regardless. Until one day, the world's number one hero, All Might himself, meets him and he sees the potential that he has to be a great hero. And so he tells Deku that he was also born without a quirk and that he was actually given one, called One For All. And that's what gives him his powers and his super strength and speed and that he too is able to pass that power on. And he's actually looking for a successor. And so he gives the power to Deku, and that is basically the premise of the show, as Deku learns to master these powers and All Might trains him how to use them. But my theory on the show relates to season four and the bullets that the bad guys have invented that are able to take away a person's quirk. You see, these bullets work by devolving people. They turn back time and turn back a person's biology and they turn them from someone who has a quirk to someone who doesn't have a quirk. This is why I mentioned previously the one and two pinky joints. You see, they turn them from having a quirk, which means they have the one pinky joint, and then they turn them into someone who doesn't have a quirk, and they have the two pinky joints. They basically devolve them. And since Deku is already one of these devolved people in the first place, well, that means that if Deku was hit with Red Bullet, then logically, it wouldn't remove his quirk. In fact, it wouldn't do anything to him, as he is already a devolved human. So he's actually immune to the bullets, as they can't take away his powers, since his powers aren't dependent on his biology. But that's only one part of the theory. You see, there are red bullets, and there are also blue bullets. Now, as I said, the bullets were designed by the bad guys, and the idea was that the red ones would remove a person's quirk, and then the blue bullets would return it. And whereas the red bullets rewind a person's evolution to take away a quirk, the blue bullets fast forward their evolution to return the quirk. And the reason the bad guys made them like this is so they could control who has a quirk and who doesn't. They can take a person's quirk away and then they can offer to give it back to them for extortionate amounts of money. Which, let's face it, anyone's going to pay in order to get their superpowers back. But logically speaking, if the bullets can change a person's evolution, then surely if a person who didn't have a quirk got hit with a blue bullet, then they would evolve and gain a quirk. Meaning that the 20% of the world's population who don't have superpowers can now have superpowers, including Deku. So what if Deku gets hit with a blue bullet? At the moment, the League of Villains have them, but they don't actually know what they do. They know what the red ones do, sure, but not the blue ones. So perhaps one of them could shoot Deku just to see what they do to him. The leader does hate him after all. And if it actually happens and Deku gets hit by one and his evolution is fast forwarded to a person who has a quirk, then he may actually gain a secondary quirk on top of one for all, meaning he'll have two superpowers. Now on the show it has been said that some people's bodies can't actually handle more than one quirk as they put quite a strain on you. But the villain, all for one, has been able to handle several quirks though that is kind of his superpower, so it's not a typical case. But in the film Two Heroes, the main villain of that film had the power to control metal, but was also given a super strength quirk by the villain all for one. So this shows us that some humans can handle more than one quirk. But the question still remains, could Deku keep both quirks, or would it be too much for his body, and would he have to give one of them up? Either he'd have to get hit by a red bullet and devolve him again, so he can keep the power of one for all, or he'd have to pass on the power of one for all so that he could keep his secondary quirk. And perhaps he could even pass this on to a certain blonde gentleman who recently lost his power of permeation. I'm just thinking, it would be quite cool to see him with the power. I mean, the premise of the show is that Deku is going to be the greatest hero of all time, but that doesn't necessarily mean he has to keep the power all for one. He could easily get a secondary quirk and use that to become the greatest hero. It's a possibility. 
And that's why I made this video, just to have a little look and discussion on these bullets, and whether Deku is immune to the red ones, and whether the blue ones would give him an extra quirk. Which, personally, I think is exactly the case, and it'd actually be really interesting to see him with a secondary quirk. Now, I'm sure I'm not the first person to think of this, but still, I was curious what you would all think of the idea. So, what do you think of my theory? Do you think that Deku is immune to losing his powers, at least from the red bullets, thanks to him already being devolved? And do you agree that a blue bullet would cause him to gain a quirk if he was hit with one, and then he might have to give up the power of one for all, as his body couldn't handle two quirks? Be sure to let us all know your ideas in the comments, and of course, what superpower you think that Deku should get on top of his existing power. After all, his mother has the power to attract small objects, and his father can breathe fire, so it could be related to that. Or it could be something completely different. I mean, the question really is, what power do you think Deku should have? And I'd just like to say a quick thank you to those of you who made this video possible by donating to the Needle Mouse Productions page on Patreon. And as always, thanks for watching, and feel free to subscribe, share, like, and comment.